several scriptures I think about that have been comforting to me personally, but then other scriptures as well that I've returned to to try to help direct the teens and their families and even our church as we grieve and as we walk through the process. The first and most prominent is from Matthew 28, where Jesus is leaving and he promises that he will be with us to the very end of the age. And I think that's one of the most prominent promises that Jesus makes in all of the New Testament, that he promises to be with us. And so that's one I've tried to remind my teens and their families that Jesus is with you. Christ is with you. He promised he would be, and he is. Another passage that's been crucial is Romans chapter 8, especially as we think about grief and death and the theology behind it. And I've really emphasized to our students that God hates death, and God did not cause this. But God can redeem this broken, messed up situation for good. And so I've cited Romans 8.28 many times that God works all things to the good of those who love him. Not that he caused it, but that he can redeem it. And that's been crucial in developing our teens theology and understanding of what exactly is going on here. And then lastly, it's been a challenge, but we've tried to get them into 1 Corinthians 15. And we've spent a couple Wednesdays talking about the resurrection of the dead. And how many times in our church we don't speak of that future hope. And of particular importance in that chapter, and for me communicating with the teens, is where Paul says, death has been swallowed up. Where, O oh, death, is your victory? Where, O oh, death, is your sting? And to try to emphasize to teens that the future resurrection of the dead is a bodily thing where God is recreating and redeeming and remaking everything that was broken. And that someday we'll be with our friend again. And things that are broken now will be made new, including his body and ours. The way I think about life after death uh, has not changed much. I encountered N.T. Wright's Surprised by Hope book a few years ago. And that was crucial for me in developing a biblical understanding of what happens after we die. And so... I would recommend to anyone and everyone, think about it before you have to deal with it. Really think about what happens after death. And could you explain that to teenagers? I was privileged to be a part of a seminary class where we spoke about the resurrection of the dead and we dove into books. And so I would encourage reading Surprised by Hope because it explains very simply that our hope is not only life after death, but life after life after death, as N.T. Wright says, and the resurrection of the dead, and the re recreation of all things, and the redeeming of all things. Amen.